Justin Fields looked really good over the weekend. And look, he may be he may be bad. He may be running for, he's definitely going to be running for his life against the San Francisco 49ers front line with that terrible offensive line. But as Whale mentioned, like San Francisco's offensive line could be really problematic. It might not matter because like they may just still run the ball for a million yards because of Trey Lance. Um, but what are you thinking about doing here, Ken? Because the line movement appears to be towards San Francisco at this point, the road favorite of just about a touchdown or a touchdown, right. depending on where you're looking here in week one. Yeah, I mean, it would only be Chicago uh, at this point. And, you know, we talked about this a little bit last segment, so I won't uh, go into a lot more detail. My number says it should be a little bit less. You also, it's so funny because I, I think the way we framed this game all along and the way I've, I've heard it framed elsewhere too, is how bad the Bears are and how the Niners might, might win by so much. That's always the framing, right? It's never just like a, even a neutral presentation of the facts of the game. It's just, it's always about how much San Francisco is going to win by. It is a quarterback we've basically never seen before seven on the road. That's also what it is. <laughs> it's also, it's, a, and I like the upside of Trey Lance more than a lot of people. I bet him to win the MVP at a big price and, and the price has come down and now it's kind of, you can kind of squabble over whether there's any value left in the bet. But I, I like that upside, but along with volatility comes the idea that he might stink and second year quarterback. We've basically never seen seven on the road is that's, that's interesting. Like that's not something that you see very often, I guess would be the right way to put it. Um, so the case for Chicago doesn't even have to be anything about the bears. It could actually be entirely about the unknown quantity of quarterback for the Niners in the game. I don't know if I'm going to bet Chicago yet, but this will be a, a one-sided conversation. If the number's going to stay like this for me, which is, do I want to bet Chicago or not? Uh, and that's the only thing I'll be thinking about in the game right now. I think, I think for right now, I think I, I kind of might be in San Francisco a little bit, but we'll, we'll say you, you've been into them all along to be fair. So I know you, you say that there when it was six and six and a half, you were like very much on the San Francisco side of things when we talked about it. So I guess not surprising, right? The numbers kind of moving in that direction. Yeah, I think, I think it's seven. I think I still might be a little interested in San Francisco, but sure. I, I, my number was seven and a half. As is your right. Throwing that out. Yeah. But you know what? Yeah. I might like, I, I may ding San Francisco a half point here for the offensive line being as bad as it's been. And I may, just, may say seven and may pass the game entirely.